in it. Wait, wait, I didn't even shoot. Yo, what's going on guys, man, and welcome back to some more Black Ops 3. At the moment, for some reason, I'm addicted to this, man, and you guys seem to be loving the series. Remember, though, every single time I hop on this game, I risk getting booted offline. If you don't know, the hackers, since this game is so old, are capable of doing crazy stuff like that. So if you guys could do me a favor and drop a like on the video, if we get to a thousand, then I'll carry on this series. I just need to know you guys are still enjoying it if I'm risking my life. That's an exaggeration, but you know what I mean? So like I said, I'm addicted. I've made a lot of progress since my last Black Ops 3 video. We started working on the assault rifles. There's quite a lot of them. So this has been a lengthy process. But at the moment, I've got them all pretty much set up. I've got all the headshots for them. And I've left one challenge, which is get 50 kills with an optic and five attachments equipped. We're going to run through all of them today and hopefully unlock the diamond camo. The Shiva was probably the most annoying one because a single fire weapon getting those headshots was man but i still managed to knock out all of their headshots i still need two long shots as well as that 50 kill challenge i've started working on this launcher right here too i need to destroy 100 score streaks so whenever i see a uav i take it out we've got 88 out of 100 i've been working bro we all make the mistake of leaving the launches till last and then regret it every time wow we got nuketown first game wow i got lucky Wow, how did I still get him? We joined late, but we managed to get a decent amount of kills. 15. I'm hoping this is their first game on Nuketown so that we can play it again. What the hell is this guy doing? And they already played it. <laughs> By the way, I've been getting recognized a lot in lobbies whilst I've been playing this game. And I just want to say, if I don't reply whilst we're in game, it's because I don't know how to. What? I don't know how to type whilst we're in game. I only know how to type whilst we're in the lobby right here. When I'm playing this game, I'm just chilling because I know a lot of people find me and expect me to be dropping nukes and going crazy. But most of the time, I'm like this, chilling. <laughs> Back to back. <laughs> oh yeah, and people keep asking to see my stats. My stats are nothing special. When you come up against hackers 24 seven, this is how it looks. I've got one day played. I've got one nuclear, one mega kill. It's nothing crazy. What the? Yo, my team is going crazy. Shot out. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. I didn't even shoot. How did he die? Wait, what was that? Someone has to explain what just happened. Did I just get given aim bar for a second? Because I swear I didn't shoot a bullet. Okay, there's gold. <laughs> Let me uh, switch to my XR2. My teammate's got a hater too. Okay. What's going on? If you A lot of people were saying that that new Hemel Mock map on Modern Warfare 2 kind of reminds them of this map. And I agree. For some reason... The screenshot actually did kind of remind me of this map. But now actually playing this map, yeah, it's nothing like it. Yo! What's this line? There we go. Got the hater. This was always such a weird gun because it's a burst assault rifle, but it's not the M8. So it never really got any love. Come on. So it never really got any love in the game, but the XR2 is actually really good. What happened to him? Oh, another hater. <laughs> wow, this gun is so good. Oh, 
What is that? Oh, yeah. If you guys are wondering why I'm using vision pulse, it's just because I'm working towards the hero armor as well. So I just have to get a bunch of kills whilst using it. Other than that, the vision pulse is pretty trash. All right, I'm switching to the Shiva just for this game because I need two more long shots with it. And I feel like this is probably a great map to do it on. So let's sit right here. Please get out of my flipping way. They're already here. Okay, there's one. Yo! Oh, there we go. Yo, this thing doesn't move. Yep, 10 long shots done. Oh, that one burst was clutch. Oh! Wait, they all just spawned there. What the flip was that? Wait, nah, this guy's sus, by the way. This guy is very, very sus. Ah, I don't know if I trust that. The reason why I always leave one challenge to do for each weapon is just because I want to be able to show you each weapon from the game. But I know for sure, or at least for me, I would want to see all of the weapons for... Ooh, we got gold. Ah, no! Oh, he... Oh, he almost lost that. All right, there we go. There's the XR2 gold. Let's move on to the HVK now. Yo, there's no shot of voting random when we got combo. Oh, my. Hey, yo, what the... You can slide underneath it, though. Woo! Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay. Yo, you still didn't kill me? What was that? Get off me, bro. Wait. Wait! Did he have kinetic armor? Those bullets were just bouncing off of him. This HVK was never anything special. I remember no one would use this thing. It was just like the bog standard average assault rifle. Oh, there we go. Gold camo. I shouldn't get too scared when I see level 1000s anymore just because this game's been out for like eight years. People should be level 1000 by now. That? Oh, that's tough. Oh, and he made it? Hey, why did he have to show off like that? <laughs> he said normal lobby? No. <laughs> Bradder's soft aim. What are we talking about, bro? And I can't even talk in the chat to defend myself because I don't know how to. You know what's so funny? I don't even blame them for thinking I'm hacking, though. Just because I accuse so many people of hacking in this game. You run into so many hackers that you, anything that you get killed by, you think is a hacker. Whoa, whoa. Target down. Brothers, you are poop. Why? What did I do? You went 9 and 11. What are we talking about? Trash. I'm out. Yeah, no way. I'm not playing with that. I'm not getting booted offline today. Nope. And that's the sort of stuff I'm talking about, bro. Playing this game is so scary. In other news, we've got a bunch of crypto keys. We've got 529. We've also still got the bribe as well as the 10 supply drops. So we're stacking. It's looking like we're going to be able to do a massive supply drop opening at the end of this series, which will be fire. Just because I'm really excited to see what DLC weapons that we get. It's all good. Maybe we almost got booted offline, but we got Nuketown in return. So I'm good. Oh, hey, they're gonna think I got aim bar after that. There's gold. Come on, man. ICR done. We're on the mana one now. Oh, I've been waiting to do this one because this was so fun to use. There we go. Just proof of my level 1000 thing. If you look at the lobby leaderboard, this level 1000 has a negative KD. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, it's actually not crazy. Like I said, just because of how long this game has been out, anyone can be level 1000 now. And before he absolutely destroys me. Yup. Yup. Hey, I'm so stubborn when it comes to stuff like that. I will never be the one to move. Never. I don't know why. I just never move out of the way. It's either they move or we're staying there. This weapon right here, the Man of War, was one of the meta weapons back in the day. That's why I love using this weapon so much. It brings back so many memories. But yeah, this was a weapon that you would... Oh! This was a weapon that you'd want to be using. I played a lot of competitive back in the day on this game. And you would see a lot of the AR players definitely using the Man of War. Or the M8, which you guys will see soon. Oh, what 
the flip? What is that? What is that? What the hell did he jump around that corner with? They've got a spawn over here, right? Yep. Ah, there we go. And that was to unlock gold too. To get you out of here. Come on, bro. That was a great way to end off the game. That was just showing how good this weapon was. All right, now we got to finish off this Shiva. This gun was always so weird. So it's a single fire assault rifle. Nowadays, this would probably be a battle rifle or a marksman rifle or something like that. What? I just saw this massive red blob just running towards me. Wow, this thing's a one-shot headshot too. It literally could be a battle rifle from Modern Warfare 2. Ah! As my hater. What are these guys doing? Oh! No! No! I've got no bullets! See me, help! Oh! What the? <laughs> hey, that Shiva's too good. If you've got a good shot, crazy. Before we get into the next game, I want to give a huge shout out to Boohoo Man. You guys can go check out all the clothing using the link in the description. I literally wear it in every single one of my videos. So I'm sure you'll find something that you like. And my code Bradders gets you a 10% discount on top of all the other sales that I'm currently on the website. So you can get so much clothing at such a low price. Go make use of that using the link in the description and use my code Bradders at checkout. There's gold camo. Beautiful. And now we are on the MAA. <laughs> in fact, no, it's the MAA7 in this game to be technical. Oh, sorry. Oh, man. Nah. Do you know how beautiful that sound is? That brings back so many memories, bro. You guys have no idea. I hope it brings back memories for you guys, too. That's a level 1,000 too. That's him again. Oh my. Mm. Oh! By the way, this is actually the last assault rifle that we need to do to unlock the diamond camo for the assault rifles. Depending how this game goes, we could actually unlock it in this game, which is pretty fire. Bro, how many hit markers? Oh, when you hit enough bullets, bro, this flipping M8, so crispy. In fact, that's probably the best way to describe the sound of this gun. Crispy. Right? <laughs> wow, they are all there. Oh, wait. Wait. Diamond A. <laughs> wow, what? Usually the gold camo pops up first, but I guess it just wanted to show you straight away. What the hell? That caught me off guard. Let's check it out. Diamond for the assault rifles. Hey, that's fire. So now, not only have we got diamond for the assault rifles, but we've also got diamond for the SMGs too, if you guys remember. So we've got assault rifles, SMGs done. Now, what do we go for next? I'm actually not too sure. Let's check out that. Ooh, actually. Why does it look so much better on the assault rifles? On SMGs, it looked trash. What the? Yo! 
<laughs> but now it's time to start using, I guess, the shotguns. Unless you guys have any other suggestions for what I should use next. I'm going to start working on the shotguns to try and get the camos on these. Instead of headshots, most of these require one-shot kills. So now I need to start getting as close as possible to people. There we go. That actually wasn't a one-shot kill because I think he was weak. There we go. Yeah, that counts. Oh. Oh, but yeah, there's another diamond camo out the way. I just want to give another huge shout out to you guys for all the support you guys have been showing on the channel recently. It's really appreciated. You guys have been going crazy. You should know the vibes by now. A thousand likes on this video and I will continue to risk getting booted offline.